For anyone who craves oysters, one of the most famous spots in Washington is the Old Ebbett Grill. Christian Guidi manages the restaurant. We serve between 1,500 and 3,000 oysters a day, um, and that obviously does create a lot of waste. In the past, these oyster shells would end up in the garbage. But that changed this year when the Old Ebbett Grill found a new purpose for the used shells. The restaurant is recycling them to help restore the declining oyster population in the Chesapeake Bay. The Oyster Recovery Partnership picks up the used shells and brings them to Michael McWilliams. We send them through a washing process, which they are sent into a machine, hit with water. At the University of Maryland's Center for Environmental Science, this giant machine thoroughly cleans the shells. They sit in the sun for a year before they are ready to become homes for baby oysters. That happens here at the university's hatchery. Don Merritt heads the oyster recovery program. It is a critical species in the overall health of the Chesapeake Bay. Merritt says the Chesapeake Bay is unhealthy because of the decline in the oyster population from erosion, disease and over-harvesting. Oysters and other filter feeders form community reefs that clean the water in the bay. Our real goal here is to try to bring healthy oyster populations back to the Chesapeake Bay so that we can help restore a healthy Chesapeake Bay, not just a healthy oyster population, but a healthy bay. The scientists start by creating the right environment for oysters to reproduce. Hundreds of millions of oyster larvae are then placed in these tanks where they'll eat a well-balanced diet of specially formulated algae and grow. If we want our oysters to be happy, we have to give them good food. After two to four weeks, the larvae need to attach themselves to a hard surface like a shell. The baby oysters in these tanks will eventually be taken out to the bay. Back at the hatchery, this is an example of what they will look like underwater as they grow over the course of a year. In about six years, this is what it looks like. The oysters are now big enough for other organisms like mussels and barnacles to attach themselves to the oyster shells, making this the beginning of an oyster reef community. Merritt says it's a process that takes time. We didn't get to this crisis in a few years and we're not gonna get out of it in a few years. It's gonna take a concerted effort over a long period of time. Merritt says every recycled shell is needed because it will take several decades before the oyster population is fully restored. Elizabeth Lee, VOA News.